times at a Democratic rally. Democrats aren't perfect. <laughs> I wasn't perfect as president. I'm the first one to admit it. Politicians, just like all of us, can make mistakes, even with the best of intentions. This part, just about unanimously, Democrats still, uh, unanimously, Democrats still abide by the basic norms and rules of how the democracy is supposed to work. <laughs> you can run the best campaign, you can even become the nominee, and you can have the election stolen from you. Trump knows he's an illegitimate president who got illegitimate foreign help. Donald Trump is an illegitimate president. He did not win the election without help from Russia. You will see this. And he knows he's illegitimate. Every time you mention it, he freaks out. I believe he knows he's an illegitimate president. He knows. He knows that there were a bunch of different reasons why the election turned out the way it did. And uh, there's no doubt that the Russians did interfere in the election. And I think the interference, although not yet quantified, uh, if fully investigated, it would show that Trump didn't actually win the election in 2016. He lost the election, and he was put in the office because the Russians interfered. Like, 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 what, like in 2016, when when my successor won, I, and I'm in the I wasn't feeling good, but I stayed up till three in the morning until it was finally decided, and then I had to call him and say congratulations, because that's how it. That, that's how democracy is supposed to work. <laughs> Let's talk about election deniers. Here's 150 examples of Democrats denying election results. Oh, wow, look at this. This is from uh, Joe Biden's press secretary. Reminder, Brian Kemp stole the gubernatorial election from Georgians and Stacey Abrams. Democrats saying that. Is that an election denier? This is outright Hillary Clinton. Trump is an illegitimate president. Is she an election denier? Was the 2016 election legitimate? It now definitely is a question worth asking. That's the Los Angeles Times. Fair. I know that he knows that this wasn't on the level. I don't know that we'll ever know everything that happened, but clearly we know a lot and are learning more every day. And so it's okay for Democrats to question elections, but it's not okay for Republicans. It's a crock of BS. Every one of you knows it. We have our freedom of speech, and we're not going to relinquish it to a bunch of fake news propagandists. 